We're back on this Thursday. It's 530, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! This year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla's seen her in person. Thank you, too. Her mom, Liesl Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small tracks, small tanks, but I mostly cross trained into working on Humvees and five tons and wreckers. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just going to stay at home. Stay at home and spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam. There's two more buildings. <laughs> It's a little bit past noon. <laughs> My flight touched down at like 9.30. I just got back. That's so, pretty cool. Um, well, that's good that you came here. Caught home. I see you. <laughs>
Okay, we're at our favorite video store with the store manager, Tammy. She's going to help us set up to surprise the girls. They have no idea. I picked up Mark last night. I'm going to go get them. He's going to stay here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. All right. Hi, Mark. Hello. So, just got in last night. Yep. And, uh, Mark, why don't you tell everybody what we're doing today? Uh, well, it's going to be the surprise for the kids. Uh, Denise already knows I'm here. She picked me up last night. But uh, we're going to bring the girls in, and uh, they're, they're going to be under the impression that there's, you know, they're filming stuff for the, for the store, and uh, they're going to go pick out their video just like they normally do. Uh, we're in here quite often, so uh, they're going to go through their normal routine, and towards the end, we'll go ahead and uh, set up for the surprise. Uh, you'll, you'll lead in uh, and ask them if they've met, their, uh, met your new employee, and that's what we'll come out. And how are we feeling right now? Excited. Excited. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to see it blossom, so we'll see how everything works out. And how long has it been since you've seen the girl smart? Uh, since May, first part of May. Uh, see them all the time on the internet, though, so the niece keeps me really, uh, really up to speed with the pictures and stuff. Awesome. Well, it's wonderful to have you home. We look forward to seeing you uh, reunite with your girls. Absolutely. Okay, so have you guys met my new employee though? I have a new employee. Have you met him? No. No? So what movie did you get? <laughs> oh my god. Outstanding. Your daddy? 
Where'd Daddy come from? Um, I forgot. Where's Daddy been? Um, Has Daddy been in Iraq or Afghanistan? Um, both. He's been in both? Did you know Daddy was coming today? Yeah, no. Are you, are you excited? Yes. Are you? Nick, <laughs> are you surprised? Very. Very surprised? <laughs> yeah. Becca, how does it feel to have Dad home? Yes, so wonderful. <laughs> when we were going to have Daddy say, well, um, I forgot every day, but Becca was going to cry because she didn't know if he wasn't going to come. Oh. But he did come. He did <laughs> come. And now he's home for good? Are you so excited? I know I am. <laughs> so, Denise, how's it feel to have your family back? Oh, my gosh. Wonderful. Wonderful? Yeah, wonderful. Mark, how's it feel to, to see your girls? Awesome. 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 Are you sure I'm not dreaming? It's good to have the gang back together. Okay, shall I continue? <laughs> Here. Oh my. Maybe it's coming. You like our tree? Maybe it's coming. Oh, okay. I don't know. Might, oh, Santa Claus? It go? might be coming. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's probably not stuff in the You like the tree? I love it. I'm, it's my favorite. <laughs> hey, you know this is your favorite. Oh, here's my package.
<laughs> Libby, who's coming down the stairs? Welcome back. A U.S. Marine from Arroyo Grande returned home this week after spending the last several months in Japan and Korea. Amanda Starantino was there for the homecoming and she joins us live from our newsroom with more on that. Amanda. Dan, this homecoming didn't happen at the airport like usual. This one was at an Arroyo Grande elementary school as the sergeant's next mission was to surprise his little sister. Hours away from putting fourth grade behind her and jumping right into summer vacation. It was just a normal day at school for Cheyenne Perlesnik. Little did the 10 year old know a dream of hers was about to step into her classroom. Cheyenne's big brother, Sergeant Brandon Perlesnik, reporting for duty. The assignment to see his sister for the first time in seven months. Hey, Shai. It was the reunion Cheyenne had been waiting for, but never expected. <laughs> this homecoming had been just wishful thinking by Cheyenne. I got all your letters. Did. Hoping her brother's next mission would be to see her. Good. Yeah. She wanted me to. She wrote a letter saying that she wanted me to surprise her um, at school. And she gave me her room number and everything, her teacher. So I didn't think that I would be home in time because her last day of school is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it so happened to be that I could make it in time and surprise her. Mm -hmm. Made her dream come true. It did. <laughs> a wish granted, bringing this brother and sister back together. I'm just going to say that I'm so happy for my brother to be home. <laughs> and it was it was amazing. I missed him. Yeah. And Sergeant Prelesnik joined the Marines four years ago and he tells me the last time he really got to spend time with his little sister was when she was still in a car seat. Back mm -hmm. to you, Dan. Yeah, she's grown quite a bit since then, no doubt. Thank you, Amanda. And we're told the family is looking forward to spending a little time together at uh, well, a traditional gathering for them, Farmer's Market in San Luis Obispo.